Ohio TechNet is a consortium of 11 community colleges in the state of Ohio, and um, we impact 71 out of Ohio's 88 counties. Well, the skills gap is a big reason why Ohio TechNet was launched. Um, manufacturers are feeling the need um, due to pending retirement, and those are the highly skilled folks that the new workforce needs to learn from. So as we're drawing people into manufacturing, these um, experts can mentor the new workforce. The goal here is to have students trained, get back to work, come back to tra for training, and so that the upskilling can occur. We've worked really hard to create programs that accelerate training for the adult workers. Um, we know that our, our adult workers cannot take two years to complete a short-term program. So it's allowed us to create short-term programs that are eight weeks, 16 weeks, uh, maybe even a whole year. One of the programs that has been, been created under this grant is called Right Skills Now, and that takes a person who doesn't have any skill in manufacturing and introduces them to manufacturing and um, guides them along the path to becoming a machinist. Employers would come in um, at the end of that time, interview those students, and then decide on who they'd like to make an offer to for uh, an internship at the end. Most of those interns converted to full-time employees, which is really exciting for the employers and for the students. It's a try before you buy. The students get a chance to see, like, is this the culture fit that is of interest to me? And the employers also get the opportunity to find out how is this um, student going to work out as an employee. From the learner perspective, they have an opportunity to be trained on state-of-the-art machinery. They know that the, the equipment that's in place within our community colleges is the same equipment that they're using at the, at the workplace. And the technology is amazing. It's, it's amazing. And, and students who are drawn to our programs, so, some of them are art students who, they're, they're makers, but they, they couldn't find their niche in art. And the conversion to manufacturing has been really exciting for them. So we've trained nearly 2,000 um, participants under this grant. One of the big benefits has been credentialing. The work of, of credentialing is important because students need to know the, that they will have something to take away. We know that not every student who starts college is going to finish college. And um, with a short-term credential, at least if they don't finish, they have something that is industry recognized and marketable. Similarly, for employers, um, the challenge is to, to educate them on the importance of these credentials and so that they will recognize those credentials when they're making hiring decisions. We are currently uploading information uh, from our grant to Skills Commons. So there'll be, in addition to curriculum, there'll be outreach materials. We launched a tool for credit for prior learning. It's called FastPathOhio.com. And um, so in addition to being utilized by some of our partner schools, we also have utilization by non-Ohio TechNet schools using that tool, so that's exciting. And additionally, we are thrilled to be partnering with Skills Commons to help with the curation of manufacturing uh, curriculum that's currently located within the Skills Commons site. The benefit of the Skills Commons portal will be that employers can access the curriculum that has been developed under a TACT grant. So we all know open educational resources, that curriculum could be rebranded with an employer's name. Um, and that's it's created a lot of excitement for our employers in Ohio. We are starting these sector partnerships around the state. So in partnership with, with the Ohio Manufacturers Association, um, which has 1,400 employer partners, we're reaching out to employers in each region of the state so that they, they will be the ones drawing in the educational partners and the workforce partners to make sure that programs are being developed that meet their needs. The extra benefit of that is that all of these um, employers have a voice to the Ohio Manufacturers Association who can then be really strategic on policy issues um, working with the, the government of the state of Ohio. It's because of this grant that organizations like some of the Manufacturing USA institutes have been able to invest in Ohio via Ohio TechNet.